Well, LaFonza Butler's appointment to the U.S. Senate lasts only until the November 2024 general election, but Dianne Feinstein's term ends two months after that in January 2025. That's why a lot of attention is turning to a special election on those short two months, all that on top of an already planned Senate race where you, the voters, will decide who sits in that seat for a full six-year term. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> As of Tuesday, LaFonza Butler is officially California's newest U.S. Senator. But for how long? Per the state elections code, her appointment by the governor lasts only until the next general election, November 5th, 2024, and not until the end of the late Senator Dianne Feinstein's term in January 2025. That's why, in addition to the already crowded race to decide who will take over the seat for the full six-year term beginning in 2025, there will also be a special election to determine who should serve the remainder of Feinstein's term between the November 2024 election and January 3rd, 2025, when her term officially ends. Looking ahead, that means on the same day as next year's primary election on March 5th and general election on November 5th, voters will also be asked to weigh in on the special election to decide who will serve the final two months of Feinstein's term. I think it might feel strange to people, well, didn't the governor just appoint? Why isn't Senator Butler just going to serve out the rest of the term? And that's for legal reasons, looking at the California Constitution and election code. Already this week, major Senate Democratic candidates Barbara Lee, Adam Schiff, and Katie Porter announced in addition to their race for the full term, they also intend to run in the special election to finish out the final two months of Feinstein's term. The question is, who do you support? And my guess is that people support the same person to serve from November 2024 until January 2025 as they do to serve the next full term. As for Butler, she is free to run, but experts believe it will not be a walk in the park, noting the three major candidates already running are well established. Adam Schiff, he has $32 million in the bank. Katie Porter has in excess of $12 million in the bank. Uh, I think Barbara Lee only has about a million dollars. Is she free to run? Absolutely. Will she face, at least in the beginning, an uphill battle to get on the same footing as those who are already running? I think that's the case. And Butler is not yet commenting on her future plans. Her spokesperson says this week is all about honoring the late Dianne Feinstein, adding, quote, politics can wait. Reporting at the state capitol, covering local news that matters, Eitan Wallace, Fox 40 News.